Hey Aquarius, welcome to your August monthly reading. Um, I am going to pull a few cards from the tarot and then a couple from Oracle decks. Um, this is, whenever you're seeing this, you're meant to see it. So if you see it in August or if in September, then that's the time. Also, please make sure you subscribe so you can stay aware of all the new videos that come up. And then make sure you follow me on um, Instagram or TikTok, same handle, Alchemist Tarot, if my messaging resonates with you. Okay, let's pull and see. And I am a fellow Aqua Sun, so this is definitely for me. Holy cow, got some really intense cards already. Okay, we got the Emperor and the Lovers. Now, Aquarius, this, <laughs> I think many Aquarians for the most part have probably been single and have been perfectly fine with that. Now, this is actually, you know, maybe wishing on a star and kind of, you know, telling the universe, you know what, I think I'm actually ready to take on a relationship. I, I really do think that I'm ready to do this and move forward into something a little bit more significant, a partnership, a commitment, but it needs to really be the right one. Um, most Aquarians are, I would call an old soul. They really, they're visionaries and they're, they always think in um, futuristic terms, but their souls are very, um, their souls have been through it. So they can provide a lot of wisdom and guidance and can see things in the future because they have gone through so many things in the past. Okay, <laughs> excuse me, okay. Oh my goodness. The Emperor is somebody that is, um, this is a very mature energy coming in. This is someone that has seen it all, done it all, heard it all, doesn't get distracted easily if he wants something or she wants something because it, women can be emperors too, so it's, it's you know, gender neutral. Hopefully I'm using the right, the term correctly, but, um, this is not somebody who is looking for a fling. This is not someone who wants to waste people's time because they do not want their time wasted. Time is precious to them. They're looking ahead in the future. They want to build something. You know, this is someone, if they're going to spend time, which to them is precious, on getting to know someone, learning about them, dating them, they are doing it because they see potential. If they are approached by someone and they don't see that there's long-term, you know, opportunity, potential, longevity, growth, someone that can build with them, they're not going to give you the time of day. Okay. The lovers, this really could be someone that pulls your heartstrings, but there's a deep soul connection. Either you maybe met them, um, in this lifetime and are aware of who they are but you actually don't know them very well. You've never gotten to know them. Um, and or this is somebody you're connected with in a past life. Your souls recognize each other. You physically in your 3D meat suits may not see each other or understand who you are, but there's a connection that's almost un undeniable. So this is a very strong chemistry. There's a lot of deep love. Um, and it goes past the physical. This is a mental, emotional intellectual connection with somebody that you've never experienced before. Now, you got temperance in reverse. So one thing I will say, one thing about Aquarius is that we very much like our independence and space. So this can be almost intoxicating and that it's very overwhelming, which can be a, a tough energy for Aquarius because we typically are very detached. But you might find yourself getting swept off your feet a little bit and going with it, which there's nothing wrong with that. But just remember not to get too carried away that you forget about your needs, your wants, and what you need out of a relationship. So remember, balance is key. And when you're getting to know somebody, whether you have a soul connection or not, take the time to really get to know them, right? And make sure that they're a good fit for you and that you see yourself growing with them. Okay, so with temperance, don't rush or pour all of your energy into one cup in your life and forget about your business, your friends, your family, things that you've been really trying to cultivate and grow just because this really intense magnetic energy has come into your love life. Okay. <laughs> Got 
got a few cards. We got patience. Now, Aquarians are not always known for being patient. <laughs> But there's been a lot of healing that you've had to go through to actually get to this point where you've, you're ready and wanting and willing a stronger commitment in love and, um, you know, relationships. Aquarians can be friends with somebody and they typically feel more comfortable being a friend rather than a lover at times. They need to have, they really do want to have a real pl platonic relationship with somebody that can grow into something, you know, um, love and relationship. So you know, Aquarians, you've really gone through the work and the healing and the, you know, really the shadow side to heal yourself and you've been patient. Um, so this is exciting because this really means that you've done the work that you genuinely do want this in your life, not need this in your life. You've had to surrender. And you're, you're going to even have to surrender to this energy as well when it comes in. That doesn't mean that you surrender to the point that you let it overtake you and that you lose all you know ability to make decisions for yourself that's not what I'm talking about but this is about surrendering letting go and being in the present one plus nine is ten so this is a completion this could be really the end of something opening into a new beginning end of your singlehood going into a really strong amazing relationship so you need to surrender. So at times, if it gets a little nerve-wracking because it's too much emotion, allow yourself to feel that. That's okay. You're an Aquarius. You're not going to let it overtake you. You're, you're mentally going to have control in some shape or form, hopefully. <laughs> okay. So it says be assertive. Sorry, the glare is really hard on this card. I don't know if you can see it. So be assertive. One thing um, that just comes out right away for me is that the emperor, the person that is coming in, is probably a pretty, um, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to say control freak because I think that's probably too drastic, but this is somebody that is definitely a high vibrational, but they're used to being in control. Em the emperor is in control. He's in control of his life. He doesn't like unknowns. This is somebody who plans a lot of things out. So if you find that when this person's coming in or if you're experiencing this now where your voice is being lost a little too much or you're not speaking up as much as you usually would for whatever reason, you do need to take that control back, that power. Your voice is important, and I'm so sorry for the glare on this card, but you can be assertive without being confrontational, okay? So make sure your voice is heard, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll probably be doing the September videos here in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm still going back and forth if I can do weeklies. If I can, um, I'll definitely try. Also, um, please subscribe and also follow me on um, TikTok and Instagram, like I've said. But also, if you're interested in a personal reading, go to my website because all the details are there. So thank you so much, Aquarius. Enjoy the rest of August.